Hello all, welcome to our channel SOS Berlin. Here we explain the handling of our JS7 product. Today's topic is how to install JS7 agent with Docker container. Let's get start. It is required to have a Linux server with the Docker installed. Log into the server using SSH manager. I am using Putty session. First log into the Putty session and run the command docker dash dash version with this we can get the version of our docker installed here i have the 20.10.7 version in my environment to check the current directory execute the command pwd here current working directory is home center is here i am creating a new directory with the name SOS Berlin. Run the command sudo mkdir sos dash Berlin. I will configure my agent controller and job cockpit in this directory. Give a execution permission to the SOS Berlin directory. I am using 777 to the directory, cd to the directory and create one more folder inside the directory. Here I am creating the directory name with agent and give the execution permission to this. Change the directory to the agent. We need to pull a docker image for the agent controller use the command so docker image pull with the image name hit the enter button and the docker image is start pulling Here our docker image pulled successfully. Now we will run the docker command to start the docker container. So I am creating a agent.sh file and add a docker run command into it. With the docker run command, we pass the multiple parameter to start the container. From the host name, you can see uh, the host name represents the host of the agent. We can use the name of agent outside the container. The network represents a docker network through which G7 allow networking between the container. Publish represents the HTTP port for the agent inside, inside and outside port of the agent. The env represents the environment variable set for the docker container. Run JS Java options allow to inject any Java option to the agent's container and run JS user ID environment variable accepts the user ID and the group ID of the account that will be mapped the mount is a volume directory where the configuration logs and the generals are stored if we do not create the mount directory and execute the agent.sh then the default mount directory is used the default location for the mount directory is where lib docker volume j7 agent primary The name variable represents the name of base image for the docker container. Once you have checked all the variables we are passing into the docker run command, save the file and exit from the file. As we discussed we are using J7 docker network. So create a network into the environment use the command 
Docker network create JS7. You can see in my environment the JS7 Docker network already exists. If it is not available in your environment, that this command will create the JS7 network. As discussed, we can create a different mount directory for the agent controller. So I am creating a new mount directory for the agent. Use the command sudo make directory and use your path. I am using home, sos, j7, j7 agent primary and where. Hit the command. With this, the directories will be created. Use the docker volume create command using the parameters and the path for the mount directory and name of the image in the agent dot, dot sh we have used this name from the src you can see that j7 agent primary where we use the same name previously so it is not required to change anything in the docker run command for the mount directory now the agent will use the new path home sos j7 j7 agent primary and where now do the lsla over here to see the agent.sh file permissions currently we do not have the execution permission change the permission for the file i have changed to 777 and hit the enter button now run the agent.sh file you can see here the container is running. You can run the docker ps command. With this you can see the docker container for the agent is up and running. And this docker container have the name j7 agent primary. Here our installation of j7 agent with docker container completed successfully. Please comment for any questions. Thank you for watching our videos.